What is up guys, Ryan here coming at you with another Cinema 4D tutorial and uh, before I start today's video I want to encourage you guys to leave a like and uh, if this video gets to 50 likes I'll be releasing the Lightroom that I'll be using in today's tutorial. It's one of my own personal Lightrooms that I've used for uh, a you know quite a while now and but I've been updating it ever since and it's got some nice IES lighting in it and uh, some nice sh shadows and stuff like that so if you want the uh, if you want the Lightroom be sure to leave a like on the video and once the video reaches 50 likes I'll put the download link in the description uh, but anyways in today's Cinema 4D tutorial I'm gonna be teaching you guys some uh, dynamic cloth t um, you know tips and tricks and uh, I'll be teaching you guys how to uh, put a blanket on a bed uh, it's really cool and it, you know can work with a lot of different things um, there's you know lots of tutorials on uh, cloth dynamics but not any kind of like this so uh, let's jump into Cinema 4D and uh, let's get to work as you can see here I have a very simple light room with a very simple bed and uh, pillows and stuff like that um, that will also be included in the download link when it, uh, the video reaches 50 likes um, but you know it's very simple um, so you know to get this all you have to do is, is add collider tags to everything you want the blanket to collide with so we just have our blanket here which is separate of everything else uh, that's connected to the bed so uh, let's just delete our plane or our blanket here and uh, we're gonna delete our collider tag so I can show you exactly what to do delete them and uh, what we want to do is we want to go up here and grab a plane uh, we're gonna call this our blanket so this is blanket and hit enter Oops. and we're just gonna drag that below into our pillow tab and we're gonna bring into our top view here so we can see uh, where our bed will be landing uh, drag it we want to drag it to where it's just about over the edge on each side of the bed uh, right about there uh, well like I said it's, you know it's all at the preference but we don't want it colliding with the floor because then it just makes everything look bad so uh, we'll just shrink the edge down uh, right about there should be good and then we want to just go down here to our front view and drag it above our headboard uh, the reason why we drag it above it is because uh, if once we add the collider tags um, the plane will fall uh, you know free fall but then it will collide with the bed the pillows and the head for uh, the headboard and uh, fall down just like a normal blanket would um, so what we want to do next is we want to select everything but our blanket up oh, get out of here Twitter go away and uh, we want to go up here oh, go away go to tags and stimulation tags and then go down here to uh, collider tags once we have that done we want to select our blanket and go here to tags, st uh, stimulation tags, and cloth. Uh, once we do that, you know anything that's cloth, like for example our blanket, anything that's cloth that has a collider tag on it will obviously collide uh, with each other. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to um, make sure that our blanket is editable by going over here to our editable button. Click that, and once you see that, we'll change it into polygon uh, form. Um, to make our uh, to make it fall now all we have to do is hit play go through the timeline hold on let me go in the third person view uh, just hit, keep hitting play it's going to be a little bit laggy I do have a couple background programs running right now um, but just hit play and it will start to fall down like so now we don't want to hit play right away go away Twitter shoo um, we don't want to hit uh, pause right away because we want it to kind of uh, the cloth to kind of relax now the bed framing is a little bit short so if we just go back uh, adjust the size and the width like that and then we can just go back and hit uh, make it editable again hit play oh wait that's right we didn't add I went back one too far we had to add our st uh, cloth tag again hit play so there we go now obviously we went uh, when we were adjusting it it went a little bit too far on the front there a little bit too far at least a little bit too far to my liking and uh, just to go back and make it edible again uh, grab a simulation tag cloth tag 
and uh, put it back to the beginning and hit play and uh, it will start to fall down and uh, hug the bed that looks pretty good not perfect but it's uh, gets the point of the tutorial um, like I said you don't want to hit pause right away because you kind of want it to relax um, but that's uh, pretty much nearing the end of this uh, tutorial here if you enjoyed the video I encourage you to leave a like uh, add it to your favorites or even share it with your friends um, if you're not following me on Twitter go follow me at Symmetry HD and uh, if you want to check out my portfolio link will be in the description to check out all my works and uh, that's pretty much it guys I hope you enjoyed and uh, have a nice day